The Volpino is considered to be a very ancient breed. The Volpino claimed its origin as the European Spitz dogs to the north, or even, like the Legotto, to the dog of Pete Boggs that lived from 10,000 to 6,000 years before Christ. Over the centuries, the Volpino has been idolised in the palaces of the nobility, as well as being a watchdog for commoners. Undoubtedly, his most famous owner was Michelangelo. The Volpino is a squarely built spitz dog, with his length from point of shoulder to buttock being equal to his height at withers. His square profile is completed by his high set tail, which is carried permanently curled over the back. He moves with a typical spitz-like gait. The Volpino's head is rather distinctive and differs from his spitz counterparts. He has a muzzle shorter than the skull, a rather accentuated stop, and a medio frontal furrow and an occipital protuberance. This unusually shaped skull for a spitz breed gives the Volpino a round rather than an oval shaped eye. The ears are high set, rigid and set close together. The Volpino has a straight, long coat which is exceptionally standoffish. Although usually white, the Volpino also comes in red. He is smaller than the Japanese Spitz or the Mattel German Spitz, but is nevertheless quite distinctive when the variations to his counterparts are considered. This is the Japanese Spitz. It is taller than the Volpino and has a slightly longer body in proportion to its height. Its muzzle is the same length as its skull, instead of being shorter like the Volpino. These are the more squarely built German Spitz. The smaller Klein, which is 9 to 11 inches high, and the taller Mattel, which is 12 to 15 inches high. And lastly, this is the giant German Spitz which is 16 to 17 inches high.